Well, Nathan Trot wouldn't have off the mark now in terms of getting their first point, but could it have been three this afternoon, really? Yeah, I think it should have been three. You know, when you go down, when the other team goes down to ten men, I think it's up to us to kind of put the game away and see it off. You know, we've got a man spare, and I think we should have done a lot better. And I think the squad that we have were definitely capable of doing much better than that. Well, you said no fault of your own for the goal that we can see, but what were your, your thoughts on it? I think we switched off for maybe a couple of minutes or one minute, and then, you know, in, in this level of football, once you switch off, you know, the ball could be in the back of your net, and that's what happened today. From a positive point of view, how good was it to make your debut here against the home fans today here? It was good because I went through a, kind of a frustrating time being out for a couple of weeks, you know, having a good pre season and then having an unfortunate groin injury. So to get through that and then make my debut at home and at least get a point it was, it was good. It was a good moment for me. And a few good saves as well, calms the nerves down just in front of the home crowd? Yeah, it was good to get a couple of saves from the fans, you know, the support is very much needed and it was good to have them on my side. Communicating as well, that back line coming together with you, yeah. that's, that's going to come on over the next few weeks, isn't it? Yeah, it's still, it's still early in the season. I think once, once we get going and get more string of games and, and some good results, I think it'll become a lot easier between us. You know, it's a young, young defence, so it'll take time. Generally, in terms of the team play, we started the game on the front foot, looked really positive as well, didn't we? Yeah, yeah I think we, we started off very very nice. I think um, we applied quite a lot of pressure. I think uh, maybe if we would have got a second goal, we would have kind of finished the game there. But overall, I think it, there's a lot of positives to take from the game. I suppose their point of view, being down to 10 minutes, kind of galvanises them, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And uh, I think just next time in the future, I think it's kind of seeing the other side of the game and being a bit more tactical and, and slowing things down and kind of frustrate the other team. and kind of see off the result. So Ipswich on Tuesday, Sunderland next Saturday, games coming thick and fast, looking forward to it? Yeah, I'm really looking forward, you know, the games come every two to three days, so I'm looking forward to playing in against big teams like Ipswich and uh, Sunderland and playing in stadiums like that, you know, it's a dream of mine to play professional football, so I'm looking forward to it. Aaron Ramsdale said as well, the fact that the GK union between you all, Joe McDonnell, Nick Sanev, all help pushing each other along. Does that does that really help in training too? Yeah, I think the atmosphere in training really helps out on onto the pitch and on a match day. I think the thing with Bezo and all the other keepers, they, they make you feel good all the time, even when you're not on your best day, they kind of encourage you no matter what you're going through and kind of like hype you up so it, it gets you going. Enjoying being around the Dons fans as well, getting to know the club? Yeah, I'm loving it a lot. I think they've they've been on my back as soon as I as soon as I touch the pitch, you know, I've gotten massive support from them. It's a big boost to me and helped me perform. Nathan, thanks for your time. Thank you.